What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So, I hit 1000 subscribers, so I figured that it's time to upload a video considering I haven't made one in over a month. Now, I'm making an Excel video because that's kind of what my life is revolving around right now, so here I am. Today I'm going to be teaching you something that will be extremely helpful if you plan on going into the corporate world, and that is Index Match. Now a lot of you have probably heard of Index Match, VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP, any of these, whether it's for meme pages or just uh, you've been using Excel for a while. But when you hear all these names of different alternatives, you may wonder why do we use Index Match over these other ones? Well, the main point, if not the most important reason we use Index Match is to flex on the commoners that use VLOOKUP, the disgraceful pit. In all seriousness, the reason we use Index Match over VLOOKUP is because it has a lot more powerful features. Uh, unlike VLOOKUP, it can be used on rows, columns, or both at the same time. Well, VLOOKUP simply can't do that. However, that's not important for today's video because I'm just teaching you the very basics of Index Match. After this video, you should be able to use Index Match in the exact same way that you would use VLOOKUP, except for one main difference. Now, when people look at your Excel spreadsheet, they'll see Index Match instead of VLOOKUP and you'll look like an absolute legend. Okay. All jokes aside, let's learn what we're doing. So say hypothetically, we want five boxes of cookies. And in each box, we want 500 cookies. So we want 2,500 cookies because we're a fat piece of... <clears throat> anyway, continuing. If we were to look at this Excel spreadsheet, we could easily be like, oh, okay, 500 cookies, five boxes, it's $236.25. Imagine this spreadsheet though, however, was the thousands of thousands of rows and you didn't know, you couldn't line it up because there are so many columns, so many rows, it would have taken forever to go one by one line it. This is really where index match comes in handy or VLOOKUP or whatever you're using. The way to do this is you type in index, you press tab because you're an absolute legend at Excel and auto fills it up. Then you want to look at the number of boxes that you want. The column, it says array, I'm just clicking column. We already know from here that the price is going to be in this column because it is the five boxes. We look down, it's there. If we had a lot of data, we wouldn't be able to see where it is, but we can see it here, $236.25. Then we type in match and we want to hit 500. You could either hit the 500 or you can type it, but either way, then you'd hit another comma, you put in another array, now this is the column that we're looking for, so we have two 500s, and then we click comma, and then zero, boom, $236.25. I just realized I didn't explain what the zero was. Zero pretty much means that we want the exact answer, not something that's near it, not 118, not 467, we want $236.25. And that is all for this video. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with more videos like this one.